Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our 16th award ceremony for the Eppendorf Young Investigator Award. We are very proud and very happy to be here um, right at the center of first class science here in Europe. Um, thank you very much for hosting the event uh, here for us. I think it's a great opportunity and we're looking forward uh, for a hopefully long history then in the future. And we were delighted when we were approached by Eppendorf with the request um, that they could organize the prize giving of their Young Investigator, Young European Investigator Award uh, this year and we hope in the years to come. Um, this is a prestigious award which if you look back at the people who have won it in the past, uh, has been the people have been selected very well as people who have a real future in research. So we are extremely happy that Eppendorf decided to come here to host the event, and we are looking forward to hearing about the award, hearing about this year's award winner, and hearing the response from the award winner's representatives. The award is presented to young scientists here in Europe for outstanding achievements in the field of biomedical research uh, based on methods of molecular biology. This is how we from Eppendorf have described it in the criteria. The jury evaluates the submitted papers with respect to the following five selection criteria, and I'll read them here to you. First of all, it's the ability to work independently. It's the candidate's own contribution to the submitted work. Secondly, the creativity, which means the independence of instructions coming from the head of the institute. It must be the work of the candidate. Third, successful practical application of the research approach. And fourth, the significance of research results for the field of medicine or biomedicine. So it's great to be here in this fantastic building. <laughs> Ian knows the story. This building was supposed to come to Dresden, <laughs> but fortunately it's here. We, uh, the Eppendorf jury, we are uh, looking at many applications. How do we decide? Well, of course we decide because the work was so fantastic. And also the area. So the area that Susan Rojakers is working in has to do with host microbe interactions. Susan, Susan didn't work on, on viruses, she works on bacteria. And there, of course, you first have the, that viruses and bacteria, they use almost all the receptors that exist, proteins that exist on the surface of cells to get into the cell. How does microbe now, in this case staphylococci, evade the defenses of the cell? And you will hear that this bacterium has found a way to avoid the attack. And one attack is to use complement that binds to antibodies that bind to the bacteria or other ways. And then complement comes in there and opsonizes the, the bacterium and then it can be eaten up by phagocytes and other cells. And here is exactly where she did her work, why we were so excited. She found a mechanism how this is done, I won't go into it because the stripe will, will, will tell us more and more about her, her, her work, but uh, this is now a very interesting mechanism that she has gone all the way even to structure to solve how the bacterium, this attack that leads to death in the cells that, that phagocytose uh, opsonized bacteria. So here it is. This is, first of all, this very nice award. And then there is this document showing that she really got it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. On behalf of Susan, I uh, would like to thank everybody for giving her the award and also for this presentation where she unfortunately could not be. So this is uh, Susan Royakers, as we call her, uh, Rujakers, 
as they called her in, in when she was in San Diego, or Rudy Jackers, or whatever. This is a very difficult name to pre present, but Susan is is a, is a easy name internationally. So um, I first will will go on and tell her you the, give you the reason why she is not here, and uh, she gave birth to this beautiful daughter here, and uh, it went a little bit uh, slowly, but. I can tell you that in the last couple of days she improved, and now mother and child are doing really, really well. And uh, she's happy. She's even more happy with this than with the prize, you can imagine. That is <laughs> nothing to do with our great prize, but that is. Uh, uh, but Susan's focus is, is this system, the complement system. The complement system is very difficult. I will come back to that. But it's part of the innate immune system. It has lots of parts, and bacteria are recognized by this innate immune system taken up and destroyed. Yeah, that is the whole message of the innate immune system. You're not going to wait six weeks until you have antibodies. You have to get rid of 99% of all the bacteria within a couple of seconds, because otherwise you're dead. And that is the whole thing of the acute phase of the innate immune system. And complement is a very important part of that. Um, the reason to do that is, of course, when also, she is in a medical hospital, so there is the uh, real reason to do it, not just for the fun of it and the nice molecules and the nice pictures I showed. Uh, the structural function work can, can move us to anti-inflammatory drug. There are at least 50 diseases that are related to over-activation of your immune system, and, and that could help to design new anti-inflammatory drugs. And the microbial <coughs> pathogenesis work uh, she's try trying to move that up to use this knowledge in the development of new vaccines because there is still no staff vaccine in, and, and people have been trying for the last 30 years, 30 years or so. So both Eppendorf and Nature have a strong interest in supporting young scientists and encouraging excellence in research and I think this award really epitomises that. Um, and I, I just wanted to emphasise that young scientists really need our support and so uh, hence why Eppendorf and Nature are, are, are very very keen on helping uh, younger scientists. Younger scientists do uh, the work and are crucial to the entire scientific enterprise. They are the engine of scientific discovery. I think as, as has already been stated uh, previously I think you can see uh, the legacy of this award is, is there to see in the continuing research of of its awardees over the years since 1995. Uh, the jury has indeed picked well on, on all occasions and I think Suzanne is another example of a, of a great and worthy awardee. Thank you. <laughs>